Hi everyone. Today we are going to take a look at how to edit patterns in Clo using the pattern editing tools here in our right 2D toolbar. So to start out, I just added an avatar here to my 3D window and the female t-shirt pattern to my 3D window. These are some files that should already come in your Clo system. I got the avatar from our avatar folder here in our library and then the female t-shirt here from our garment folder in our library. So I just double clicked on both of those to add them to my workspace. And once you get them in, I'm going to close our library to have a little bit more room to work. This t-shirt file automatically comes with the patterns that we want on our, um, on our right side here in our 2D window. And it automatically comes with our sewing, which we can tell because we have our seam lines right here. So it hasn't been simulated yet, so I'm just gonna turn on simulation by clicking spacebar, see what the t-shirt looks like. And now we're going to just use the pattern editing tools to edit this into a dress. So our pattern editing tools are here on the right side in our 2D toolbar. And the first one is our transform pattern tool. It's this filled in triangle here at the top with a cursor next to it. This um, icon allows us to select a whole pattern piece. So any pattern piece I click on, it will allow me to select the whole pattern piece. This would allow me to move it around, delete it if I wanted to. And also I could right click on it for some other settings. The one below that is our edit pattern tool that filled in triangle with a cursor next to it. This is going to allow us to select specific lines or points in a pattern. For example, I can select this segment here. So a point to a point is what I mean by a segment. I can also select an individual point, or I can also select a curve anchor attached to a point. And with all of these, I can also adjust them. So if I wanted to make this shirt longer, I could select and drag this segment right here and bring it down and that would make it longer. This pattern was created with symmetric editing, which I can tell because it has this dotted line down here in the middle. So it's editing the other side as it edits one side. If I wanted to make the shirt a little bit wider, I could select this point and drag it out. Or if I wanted to adjust the curve, whenever there is a curved line, I get this um, light blue curve anchor line attached to the segment, and I can adjust that too. And you can see it's editing here in our 3D window also as I make those edits too. It hasn't been simulated yet again, which is why we're seeing some overlap with the avatar. And we also need to remember we've only edited the front, not the back. For example, if I were to go ahead and simulate right now, only having edited the front of our pattern, the um, seams would be uneven. You can see that the whole front of the shirt is being sewn into the back. So it's a smaller seam here, so it is gathering together. So you'll also wanna make sure that we edit our back pattern too. But instead of trying to adjust this and just dragging it down in the same way that we drug the front down, well, it would be much easier to make sure our seam line is exactly the same. So we know by clicking on any segment, it will tell me the measurement of it. So if I click on this first segment here, it tells me that it's 5.75 inches. This one is 5.514 inches, so they're pretty close. Um, but I'm gonna just edit these to make them the exact same. That way our side seams are exactly the same, so there's no gathering. So I'm gonna make the back match the front. So we have 5.75. So to edit a pattern length or a segment length for an existing segment, all I need to do is be in this edit, trans edit pattern tool we are in right now and right click on the, se the segment and click change length. And so I'm just gonna type in 5.75 to make it match. And then we need to adjust the direction. So you'll see there's an arrow here attached to that segment. And that arrow is either letting us know this is the side that it's going to be adding the length to or taking away. So if I were to change it, it could either add it to near the armhole here add it evenly to both sides or add it to the start of the segment, which it happens to be down here at the bottom. I'm going to have it down here at the bottom so that it doesn't impact our armhole. So I'll click OK. And then I'll do the same thing for this bottom segment right here. I'm just going to adjust this curve a little bit so it's not quite as 
sharp and take the measurement of this segment. So it's 19.423 inches for mine. So I'm gonna right click on this one, click change length, and type 19.423 inches to adjust that. And I do want it to add it to the hem. So that happens to be the start of this segment. And then I'll also just drag this center point down too. That way our hem is flat. And now our side seams should match. So if I wanted to go ahead and simulate, now those side seams are not gathering anymore. And we've edited this shirt into a longer shirt or a dress. So that's one way we can edit a pattern using the pattern editing tool. But we also have some other pattern editing tools underneath this um, edit pattern tool right here in the 2D toolbar. We have um, the transform point slash segment tool, edit link, edit curve point, edit curvature, smooth curve, and add point slash split line. We're gonna start out with the edit curvature and this will allow us to edit the curve of any line. So for example, if I wanted to make this um, armhole or neckline a different curve, I could just click and drag on that curve and that would adjust the curve. I can always click Command Z to go back and to take a step backwards or if I wanted to adjust the curve here of the armhole and maybe make it really sloped up I could do that too, or sloped back down. I can also do that. So you can use this edit curvature tool to edit the curve of any line, whether there's curve points in that segment or not. And then I'm going to hold that down again and click on the smooth curve button. This will allow me to get rid of a corner point and turn it into a curve. So I can click on any point that is a corner and I'm just going to drag it and it will turn it into a curve. So if I click and drag, it kind of smooths that curve right there. So if I wanted my dress to have like a little bit of a slit or something like that, I could add that to the back. And I just would want to go back to my edit pattern tool, take these measurements again and make sure they're pretty similar. And for this example, they're close enough. But now if I were to simulate, you can see we have like a little bit of shaping to our dress, um, but we actually would need to go in and adjust that sewing a little bit. So I'm gonna go in and click on our edit sewing tool. And I'm going to adjust this sewing just to be up to that new point that we added. And we talk about editing sewing in a different video, so I just did that really quickly. But now we have like a little bit of a slit or a curved angle at the bottom of that. So that's how you can use that um, edit um, or smooth curves uh, tool right here. We also have our add point slash split line tool right here. This is what will allow us to add a point. So we see all of these points within our lines right here. This will allow me to add another point or to split a segment into multiple pieces. And this can be helpful for a lot of different customizations that we might be doing to our garment. So for example, um, having this point right here made it really easy for me to know where I needed to end my sewing like you just saw me edit. Um, you can also use points on your garment to add um, internal lines which we can add elastic to or be kind of markers for our garment so that would be a couple of reasons why you might want to add a point um, or just to make it easier to sew specific points together so for example maybe i wanted to add a point in my side seam right here i could make sure i'm in my add point slash split line tool and just click anywhere on the line that i wanted to i could left click and that would add a point I'm gonna click Command Z to undo that because I can also right click. So that left click let me kind of estimate where I wanted it to go. But if I right click, it will give me this pop-up menu right here. And I can type in the exact dimensions that I want. So for example, maybe I want my first segment right here to be five inches. I'll type that in. It's automatically going to populate what my second segment will be. 
that's one way to do the right click option of adding a point or splitting a line. And that's not split into two lines right here. I can also split by length and this would make both of my segments or all of my segments the same length. So maybe I wanted a couple of different segments that are four inches each. I could choose how many segments that I want that to be. And you can see that populate here. Or I could even do a uniform split. So I could just say how many segments I want and Clo will automatically divide what that needs to be into as many as I want. You typically want to have as few points or as few segments as you can. So you only want to add points or segments if you have a purpose to. So I wouldn't want to just add this many because that can make sewing take more time and be more complicated. But if you had a reason you wanted to add these points, you could do that this way. So I'm going to click cancel. And then also in here, we have our transform point slash segment tool. And this is kind of similar to the edit pattern tool, just lets me click and drag things in different ways. I'm going to click command Z to undo that. And then edit link, this will edit a link that you might have within Clo. We'll talk about that in a different video. And then edit curve point. Um, there are certain points in Clo that are curve points and we can add a curve point by clicking on a line um, like that. I've added a curve point and once I've added a curve point, it will allow me to edit a curve on that line just by clicking and dragging it. And you can also continue to add more curve points if you want, but you can do similar things with um, the edit curvature and also with the edit pattern tool editing your curve anchor lines here too. So you can kind of do whichever style you prefer, but to adjust my curve line back, I'm just going to go back into our history and get back to that point where we were before we did the um, edit curve point. So I see that in my history here. So I'm just going to go back up to selection, double click on that, close my history, simulate again, and then I'm back to my original pattern. So if you ever edit a pattern and you want to go back to a point in time, you can always do that history um, tool in your history tab right here on the left. Those are the basics of pattern editing using our edit pattern icon right here in the 2D toolbar.